If you have not already watched the video on how to open a data set into StackCrunch, you're going to want to watch that first. Now, in this particular problem, we're given a frequency table and we're asked to create a relative frequency table uh, from that. We could do this by hand by simply adding all of the frequencies together and then going back and dividing each frequency by that total. Um, however, we can use StatCrunch to take care of this calculation and save us a little bit of time. The most effective way to use StatCrunch to do this is a little bit unorthodox. Uh, rather than to make a table to answer this question, what I'm going to suggest that you do is take and make a bar graph. And so if we, in StatCrunch, we're going to primarily use two tabs. If it's a numerical summary, a table that we're looking for generally, it's going to be under stat. If we are wanting to uh, create a pictorial representation, a graph, um, a chart, then it's going to be under graph. And so under graph, we're going to create a bar chart. Anytime that data is already set up in a frequency table, that is a summary. And so we're going to do a bar plot with summary. In this application, uh, from, to what we need to do is we need to select first where are our categories. That is going to be in the responses. So in the response column, we have the never, rarely, sometimes, most of the time, always. And in the counts are in, that's going to be frequencies. Since it's asking for relative frequencies, under type, we are going to switch from frequency to relative frequency. And then any time that they give us data in a frequency table, and we're going to create another table or graphic from it, um, a chart or, or a graph, the order by we want to take and use worksheet order. If we don't do that, then the order which appears on the graph is going to be different from what you're going to see in the homework problem that, or the test question that you're trying to, to do. The last thing that makes this a little bit easier is under display, we have the option of display value above bar. Go ahead and click on that, and then you can do compute. And so now we have our, our bar chart uh, for our frequency table. It's in the same order as it appeared in our table here. And above each of the bars is our relative frequency. So our relative frequencies for never is 0 0.127, for rarely is 0 0.24, or sometimes 0 0.396, and we have 0 0.224, and 0 0.013. And so with doing that, it just kind of saves us from the possibility of making an error when we do the addition or um, dividing each of those.